welcome welcome to a video so i would like to make this video uh for documentary purposes we'll call it but basically uh let's i want to put something that's a bit old but uh it was there was a so roblox did on the official roblox tiktok they held a live stream and we're giving out codes for this this spray around jacket and uh, there was a bunch of people who redeemed this code and didn't actually get the jacket this is my screenshot of me getting the code i swear i clipped it maybe i'm schizo but i can't find that clip i tried to search short i can't find the clip of me redeeming i swear i did but oh well i'm gonna take my word for it anyway i did redeem this this is the screenshot i took for redeeming it and yeah i i i don't have it. i mean if i if i go to my inventory and then go, and then we go to, I don't have to go to my inventory, honestly, that was, that was a stupid idea. I don't know why I went to inventory, but anyway, let me stop being stupid for a second. We go, we go to, we go to Tom's, actually not Tom's, Jackets. It's just, it is, uh, nowhere, nowhere here. There's a bunch of old stuff. See, so yeah, Roblox, the official Roblox TikTok, I don't remember who it was exactly, Roblox, or the on the official Roblox TikTok, they held a live, and we're giving out codes to this, and I managed to snag one. And yeah, and then a ton of other people did too. And I think UCU ended up finding out. If you know what UCU is, basically a bunch of crackheads that collect uh, items, rare Roblox items. For legal reasons, that was a joke. But anyway, yeah, basically, it's just where UCU is a bunch. There's a bunch of people in there that just collect rare Roblox items. That that part was correct. That the crackheads part, that is also correct. But anyway, that's besides the point. But a bunch of people they found, ended up finding out about it. But uh, gave keeping this one was funny because they were freaking out over about a. They were freaking out. Or some people in there were freaking out about it. A jacket. You know that they would literally never wear i mean even like if i were to get this right uh, i would literally never wear this but it was a code item a personal code and you know gotta snag that so yeah i don't have that you here i'll click tops as well this that's oh no it's outerwear i didn't know it was a separate thing i'm, I'm stupid but yeah, there's no here no here not there whatever you get my point uh, I'll, I'll click tops it's not in tops so yeah, didn't get that, but I did send in a support ticket. So before you comment, make a support ticket. It almost feels like it's not even worth sending a support ticket because they take ages. They take fucking ages to respond to your tickets when you do send in, when you do contact support about anything on this godforsaken platform. But anyway, yeah, did make a did contact support about that. So before you leave your comment about that, I have done that. This next event I want to talk about within uh, the dev within Devrel. It was the Korean developer community second challenge, and it was, it was this. And basically, what you had to do was you had to what they wanted you to do was make a penguin inside of Roblox Studio. Um, this is translated from an Edge. I don't know how accurate it is, but um, this is what I have to go off. So anyway, yeah, what they wanted you to do for this event was make a a penguin in Roblox Studio, which wasn't that difficult. It, it didn't have to be like detailed or anything. They gave you, I don't remember how long they gave you. I think it was like 30 minutes, an hour. I don't, I think it was an hour. I think I might be wrong. It was around an hour. And the way you would get for doing this is you would get uh, the winners series, which is these, not all of them, but you got you the main item you got. With this was the crown of knowledge right here. And then I believe you also got participation awards, which is these here. Um, I don't know about all of them, but you did get. You did get these. You did get the crown knowledge and all that because literally some of my friends have gotten the crown of knowledge from this event, which all you had to do was just register. All you had to do was just register for this when it was this is June twenty second. Is now July eleventh. So that was cool. I uh, I didn't my dumbass didn't want to do this because I thought you had to actually you know do what they wanted to do what which was make a penguin in studio which I didn't want to. Do. It didn't even have to be good. It just had to, you know, represent a penguin. So yeah, I feel stupid for that, and now I regret not doing that. Also, if we hop over here, if we uh, scroll down a bit, they they said right here, "Hi everyone. Due to technical difficulties, we'll be ending the live event. As an apology, we will send every registrant for this challenge the winner series, winner series. And um, like I showed in the, like I showed here, the they uh, basically they rewarded people for getting the for getting the crown of knowledge. They rewarded people who everyone who registered." got this just you know that's that's cool so that was cool anyway and then the last thing i want to talk about is this this creator spotlight thing where they uh they held a game or they had a game and they had had like an, held an event for it and uh, you could also get the crown of knowledge from this and uh, other things or you get not the crown of knowledge specifically but the winner series 
which I showed was you get the participation, obviously for participating, and then the winners for winning in this game. Basically, in this game, um, it's right here. Be the last standing. Walls. I read that wrong. Well, there's walls that close in, and then you just basically you, you kill, you punch your opponents to death, and you be the last standing, and then boom, you win. But to act to the win, you have to join their private server that they posted, and you have to win in that, and then yeah, you would get it. And um, basically every Amer this was an Italian thing, by the way. The last thing, the penguin thing was Korean, um, and uh, but Americans participated in that, and yeah, I ruined it. And um, this was Italian. I don't, there's, there's no translated. This isn't translated. Roblox. No, don't don't do that. Anyway, this was Italian, and um, every American participant uh fucked it over, and uh, yeah, they ended up not they ended up not giving out the winner series items so for a friend of mine won this so that's i feel bad for him that dude that sucks i think they said they would give out participation but i mean the winner series crown of knowledge so that's cool the american um also a bunch of collection servers like groups ruined it may it was mainly ucu again blaming ucu the nerds that collect rare items they ruined this because they're all stupid and they were spamming the chant. See, so yeah, this game was honestly fun. I had fun for the little time I played it. And um, the event is a cool idea. Except um, they, if they want to actually, you know, do things to the community, they can't have winner items because everybody saw winner, the winner series for this. And I mean, they thought we can get crown of knowledge. And then every American, uh, it, it got spread basically. So yeah, every American participated, uh, ruined this, including the, the server that I'm on in. That I'm in. So yeah, to uh, when I meant every American participant, I mean myself too. I was not excluding myself. I mean, I wasn't being an asshole and unfunny by spamming the chat, but like, I was still part of the problem. This is Italian. I'm not Italian, uh, if you can't tell. See, that was fun. Uh, just like to document this. It was, it was, I mean, yeah. Like I said, though, the game, the game itself was actually really fun. I had some I had fun for the little time I played it. It did, you know, break while I was playing it. I, I don't think they tested it. Not sure why. Do they even have QA testers or anything? Do they have like testers? Because it, it broke a decent amount during gameplay. Here, let's see. We got Dreamers. They do have QA testers. I don't know how much QA testing they did. But um, no no hate to the developers behind this. But like, they didn't do enough because like it broke during gameplay. But yeah, not trying to hate on the developers for this. It was a fun game when it actually worked. I will get props. It was an actually, it's a really cool idea too. It was a really cool idea. There was no swords or weapons involved. It was purely just punching your opponents and being the last one standing while the walls are closing in. And honestly, it was, it was a really good idea. So yeah, I don't mean to be all negative and hate on it. It was fun for the, when it actually worked and I, and the little time I got to play. But yeah, unfortunately, all, every American participant ruined it. So yeah, um, and that's really all for this video. <laughs> wow, what, a, what an outro. I need better outros because I don't know how to end videos. But, but yeah, I wanted to document this because, you know, it's funny. How just everyone got the car knowledge, or not everyone, but majority, a lot of people got the car knowledge from the crane one, which was the penguin. We had to make it penguin in studio. So that's, that's great. That's awesome. Anyway, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, uh, just, uh, I don't know why I did that. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe. And yeah, help us out the channel. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.